How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So you might have noticed that the past two videos I published, I've been kind of looking more into decentralized applications. More specifically, I've been learning about like Solidity, how you can write smart contracts, how you can get them deployed and stuff. So if you haven't seen those um, those videos, be sure to check them out. But I've been kind of going down the path of learning more about NFTs since that it's kind of like this thing that's kind of hyped up or has been for a while. And I decided to try to create my own NFT collection. So I have a bunch of like Easter eggs. Honestly, there's like really no point to these, but I think they look kind of cool. Um, and I wanted to try to learn how to use a smart contract to deploy these to OpenSea. So I want to kind of show you what I've been learning, if anyone is interested in kind of following along and also what I'm building behind the scenes. So the first thing I want to show you is like in Figma, I created a bunch of different layers, I guess. So we have like different designs here for the actual eggs. And let me see if I can kind of like show you. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to like... Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to like hide all the different layers, but basically I have some different layers here. And this one is a background, so I can change the background from like pink to purple to orange or whatever I want. Um, and then also I have some like different egg designs. So if I go here, we can change this to a purple egg or a pink egg, orange egg, etc. Then I also have like some different shines. So this is like one type of gloss on the egg and this is like another type of gloss depending on the lighting. So that's what I've been kind of working on. It took me like a day or two to kind of build these layers and build out some eggs that look pretty cool. But the cool thing about NFTs is that you can kind of use a random generation to kind of splice these layers together and build out actual images, right? So that's what I did. I built out a hundred of these eggs. The reason I picked a hundred is because that is the, I use a service called NFT port and that is like the max limit you can do. They do like a hundred minted NFTs. So I've been kind of looking into that, doing Figma. Basically, you can export all these out to a file. And one thing I wanted to show you all is I figured that process is pretty cool. And I've been kind of looking into the code written by Hashlips. He has like an art library that you can kind of generate all these random images using layers. So I've been looking into his code and kind of dissecting it and building it out into my own little backend REST API. So if you notice here, we have an actual Express application. And I took some of the code from his uh, MIT license project and just took like the bare minimum that I need to kind of do some of the similar logic. But what I kind of ended up creating was a web UI here called NFT Magic, where you can follow these steps and basically create a zip file that contains a config JSON. And you can upload this zip that has all of your layers and your images and this config. And you can kind of specify the rarities. This is again, this is like built in the hash lips. But you can kind of specify the rarities of the images and you can upload that zip, assuming that it follows this data structure here, to my little API backend. So let's just go ahead and select a file. I do have a file already created called layers, which basically contains all of these zipped up. So it has a config. And then inside of this, we have these different layers with some different like eggs and shines and whatnot. So the idea is this backend endpoint, I can go ahead and just upload the zip file. And the backend actually does all that generation for you. It takes all your layers, combines them, and creates a bunch of random NFT images. So if I open up the zip I just downloaded and show you, we have all these images. Again, these are just randomly generated and combined images. Um, you can kind of specify how many you want. Some of these look kind of low resolution because I have like, I haven't really worked on the dimensions. These are supposed to be 400 by 400, but basically in that zip, Oh, also you have like the JSON data. So this is the actual like JSON that you upload to IPFS, which is another thing I might talk about in a future video. But basically an NFT is just a metadata file that's uploaded to some type of file storage. And then also inside that metadata, you typically point to your NFT image. So if you look here, we have an image URL, and this technically should point to like IPFS and then wherever your image is. So there's a lot I'm still trying to um, work out with all this little REST API project. But the idea is like anyone who's not really tech savvy, I think a lot of people don't know how to use GitHub. They don't know how to use Node. They don't know how to install, like, install Node and do NPM and stuff. So for anyone who just wants to generate a bunch of random NFT images, you can just go to the site, which I haven't actually created yet. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I do plan to in the future where you can upload that zip and then it'll download and generate, or it'll generate all those NFTs for you and you can download them. And then if you're kind of tech savvy, you can kind of mint those NFTs yourself. So there is still some manual process needed on your end. But I'm trying to build like a fully automated like UI, which hopefully could just like mint your NFTs for you. Maybe after you upload your zip, it'll show you a preview page and you can kind of select which NFTs you want to mint. 
go on and maybe pay some Ethereum or pay some Polygon and have those minted for you automatically. That's the goal. I don't know how far I'll take it, but um, just to kind of show you, I do plan to actually host this. So I have an Ubuntu box where I'm going to kind of have this running and I can scale it up if I need to. I have a domain that I have, a subdomain at least, set up called NFT Magic that I plan to point at that box. And when this is all set up, you should be able to access this at this URL, but this doesn't work yet. I'm still working on it. Uh, the UI is built using Bootstrap. So again, the styling is just going to be like super basic, nothing too impressive. And I think the code is actually going to be in a private repo. I haven't made it public yet. I may make it public in a bit, but right now I'm going to keep it private. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been working on. If this is something that's kind of interesting to you, be sure to follow along and subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon because I'm going to have other videos like this that should hopefully continue down this NFT path and this Web3 path of Ethereum and contracts and all this stuff. And if actually building out this UI is something that you think people would find useful, be sure to give me a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see this actually deployed somewhere that you can actually test and, and use. By the way, if you want to buy one of these silly eggs for like two bucks, feel free to leave me an offer. <laughs> I don't think any of these are ever going to sell, but if you do leave me an offer, I'll be like, even if it's two bucks, I'll just go ahead and accept it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for any future videos.